Mr Speaker, our elderly care homes provide for people towards the end of their life. They do an amazing job and they deserve the praise that they've received from the public during this crisis. Residents are looked after when they need care the most. Their hands are held, their brows are mopped and they are made comfortable. As a collective result of our efforts, especially of care colleagues across the country, 62% of care homes have had no reported cases of coronavirus. And today's figures, released by the Office for National Statistics, show that the number of deaths in care homes has fallen significantly, down by a third in just the last week, from 2,423 to 1,666. Now, for anyone who has a loved one living in a care home, and all those residents and staff, I understand what a worrying time this has been. And I'm glad we've been able to protect the majority of homes, and we'll keep working to strengthen the protective ring that we've cast around all our care homes. As I said in the House yesterday, last week we set out a further 600 million to strengthen infection control, and this comes on top of a substantial programme of support. Together, Mr Speaker, this is an unprecedented level of support for the social care system, and I want to thank colleagues across social care for their hard work. We've also broken down some of the long-standing barriers, including between health and social care, and we've learnt the importance of making sure that money for social care is ring-fenced specifically for social care, as the £600 million agreed last Friday has been. On top of this, we're requiring much better data from social care, because partial data has bedevilled the management of social care for many years and made policy making more difficult. 